to you by Sports Star Health and Fitness, the choice of champions for the finest in nutritional vitamins and supplements. By Power Eight, Health. Iron Man Teen Bodybuilding Champion number nine, Steve McKenzie. Steve McKenzie grabbed the overall teenage title. But perhaps the best symmetry in the entire competition belongs to third place finisher Mark Ramsey. Mark is 5 feet 5 and 175 pounds. He humbly rates symmetry as a solid 8 out of 10 and is also proud of his chest and back. He was not especially proud of his overall appearance, saying he could have been in better shape. The Los Angeles Teen Championships will give Mark the chance to do better. After that, it's a year off from competition, so he can put on even more size. We're convinced Mark's potential is strong and that his re-entry into competitive bodybuilding will be a successful one. Slowing Lee Pia Hart down these days, his heavyweight Ironman win goes along nicely with his previous victory in the Mr. Mid-America contest. Leaf is 5'11", 227 pounds. A crash diet 10 days before the Ironman removed 19 pounds from his frame. But don't worry about his health. A background in powerlifting and a strong desire to improve will keep Leaf on the stage and in the training room. Like other bodybuilders, Leaf enjoys the individuality of the sport, but he's not shy about giving credit where credit is due. That's, I mean, a cumulative effort to put you there. And it's, I mean, in a sense, it's, it can be very demanding on the people that are around you, the closest people to you, when you're getting ready for a show because it is so self-oriented. Leaf has a good chance to reach his goal, doing well in national level competition. Experience paid off for 27-year-old San Diego area resident Carlos Corona. He placed well in several Southern California shows, but winning the middleweight and overall Ironman championship is certainly his biggest accomplishment. Carlos credits good symmetry for his success, along with a more careful diet. Well, what I did this, this show, I watched the amount of Carlos, giving him every first place vote. A resounding way to conclude the 8th Annual Iron Man and Iron Maiden Bodybuilding Championships. For Muscle Magazine, I'm Scott Hicken reporting. Just ahead month, John Kobik introduces you to 17-year-old Luis Bellin. 5 foot 8 inch Luis Velez has what many call the perfect genetics and symmetry for a bodybuilder. A 48 inch chest and 26 inch waist help support that claim. But Luis says that genetic potential was not obvious at first. So he made himself a promise. Ever since I was small, I always, you know, wanted to be real big, you know, because I was anemic before. And uh, I just started hitting the weights off and on, off and on, until one day I made myself a promise that I would keep lifting and I never stopped from then. Luis stuck to that promise with the help of his father, who also competed as a bodybuilder in his native Puerto Rico. When I first started lifting, I was just lifting uh, on and off. But then uh, my father got me into it more. I've been lifting about right uh, steady, you know, with no uh, playing around, real serious, for about a year and a half. Bodybuilding is treating Luis well. He won his first contest and recently swept teen honors in a Philadelphia area show. But if you think Luis could compete in bigger contests, you're right, he could. It's just that Luis wants to take his success one small step at a time. A lot of people tell me to uh, uh, compete in this, compete in that. I tend to try, uh, try to climb the ladder step by step. So when I go in, I make sure I win or I do very well. Luis last competed at 185 pounds and has his sights set on both a bigger build and bigger contests. I would like to become professional. That's one thing I have. My next goal right now is to hit the team nationals by next year. Go up and wait about a, at least 225, 230, and come down to competition weights about 210, and hopefully to conquer. <laughs> Luis trains six days a week and does not stick to a regimented workout. That, he says, gives his muscles time to heal properly. But his diet is regimented. Spicy food used to dominate Luis's meals, but he now eats the proper combination of food groups and isn't afraid to ask others for advice. We're not afraid to predict that you'll be hearing a lot more about Luis, so we'll keep you posted on his progress and introduce you to another promising teen bodybuilder on the next Muscle Magazine. For Muscle Magazine, I'm John Kobik reporting.